Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So um, first of all, I want to wish you a happy new year. Um, in my last video, I have uh, introduced the modification uh, for the 3D placer to make it position aware. Uh, back then, I don't have a 3D printer with me, so now I have uh, actually got the 3D printer and I integrate it um, together. So now you can see here, this is the feeder I have printed out. And I have put in the feeder boards, I have also wired the motor and you can see the pocket pin I also uh, integrated into the feeder. So now this works well. Um, so and then also I have um, made a new um, base plate. So I actually asked the PCB way to uh, print out for me. Uh, the modification is basically um, I increased the bump high from 3 to 4 millimeters. This is uh, used to uh, adapt the thickness of the PCB here. Um, and then also you can see there are uh, space between the bumps. Uh, this is used to hold the components uh, at the back side of the strip PCB. So um, with this modification, it will be able to um, still use the old component like this, but it will also be able to support the new components with the pos position aware feature. Um, so. Uh, the overall build quality of the build play is really good. Uh, the space is clear and also the, the bump is uh, solid. And you can see I'm, I'm really happy about is that uh, uh, the PCB is able to fit to the, um, the base play well. You can see those, uh, those bumps are actually coming out from the PCB. So with the... Um, this modification, I really want to thank the PCB way to sponsor me the, the base play. And, and then with this all together, right now it's been integrated, I will want to do a demo. Um, so you can see here I have already plugged in the, the feeder. And then um, if you see the open PMP here, um, I actually implemented a feeder setup tab uh, of this CASA feeder. You can see this is a um, discover feeder uh, as, as I showed last time. So this will uh, find all the feeders available. And then also I implemented the base, uh, base play layout um, area. So this one you can see there are vertical layout, which means the, the strip PCB is a vertical. But then if somebody wants to place with the horizontal, it's also possible. You can just uncheck this checkbox. And then um, last time I mentioned that um, the connector are too close. Therefore, I leave one um, column in between. And then I also this time support this kind of uh, layout. So if you want to put some empty columns in between the three PCB, um, you can also do it. And, and here you can see a continuous row or column or skipped column. So basically there are one, two, three continuous column and then one skip column and then one, two, three continuous column, one three column, uh, one skip column. So in this way, um, it will be able to know, open people will be able to know how to uh, calculate the position. And then you can see also the offset X and offset Y. Um, this is uh, basically representing the, the column zero and row zero. The, co the machine coding is for that. Um, with this one known, it will be able to um, map it to the um, whatever contact points. Then it will be able to know um, which row and which column is it corresponding to which machine coordinates. So um, this is uh, also implemented in in this the in the Casa feeder components. And then also there is the feeder parameters. Right now it has an orientation. So basically, that means some people want to place in this direction, um, orientation, that's all right, but some people want to maybe rotate 90 degree to place some other components or some feeders, or maybe um, the other directions, or maybe 180 degree. So this is also um, supported right now. So that means if you um, rotate, the offset need to be calculated also correctly. Um, so okay, with the now the the feeder plugin, you can see I just do the discover feeder, and then it actually automatically find two feeders, um, but there's only one plugin here. The other one is actually called control, 
and it's basically representing this uh, control board. So this is um, used for the future purpose if we want to, the control board to um, automatically identify maybe the number of the boards or some other features. Then you could use this um, as the global um, parameters to maybe um, help the other feeder identification or maybe help the layout system um, identification. So this is the reserved feature. And then um, there is a 100 micro far. So this is basically representing this one. And as you can see, it's already set the position automatically. So we can just use camera to look at the pickup location. Uh, so you can see it's actually uh, moved to the correct pickup location. And then uh, what if if user change the position of the feeder or they plug in the new feeder into the different position, then what we can do is basically do the discover. And then we can come here. This one already been set. And then you can just click and it will be moving to the correct location. So this is really um, a handy and straightforward process. So you can just plug in and then you do the discover feeder and then basically it will be able to identify the position. And also, um, like I said before, uh, people might want different uh, orientation as well. So that's also possible. So we can just uh, plug in. So this one is like uh, counterwise 90 degrees. So it's uh, 270 degree here. And you can just say 270 here, apply, and then you discover, discover the feeder. And then you can just click and you can see the position the pickup position also been set correctly and the orientation of the pickup has been also um, um, considered. So this is a really handy feature and if you put in like um, uh, 180 degree, for example, uh, it's the same story. So you just put in 180, click apply and then you do the discover and then the position will be set uh, correctly so yeah this is a really handy feature and um, I will implement uh, more and more so um, late later I will put in also this uh, uh, video shot for example to have the position aware so that it will be able to calibrate the offset automatically and then maybe camera can also be uh, put in a position so it knows, it knows where the camera is and yeah, so more feature will come. And if you have some more idea thoughts, just let me know. And um, maybe I can also implement that. And if you like my um, video, please like and subscribe. Um, I will see you next time.